Hello and welcome back to another episode of Serial Compare, where we test and taste the difference between many of your favorite uh, products. And today we're looking at the very popular carbonated beverage, Lacroix. Lac Lacroix. Lacroix? Today we will look at a few flavors of the quite popular soft drink, Lacroix. Lacroix is a sparkling water type beverage that is currently being distributed by the National Beverage Corporation, or NBC, and made its debut all the way back in the year 1981. So without further ado, let's review. We will taste each Lacroix flavor one at a time and keep score on this advanced graphic that should pop up right here as we go ahead and taste each flavor. For today's lineup, we have four of the most classic flavors. We have orange, berry, key lime, and finally, cacacola, which is likely some type of species of coconut. And we will get right into it here. But if you want to taste along at home, feel free to pause the video and grab anything you need. Oh, you, you don't have to pause. We'll get it in post. Post. Yeah, post-production. Post-production. None of this is live. We, we edit all of these videos. Oh. First up, we have the classic flavor orange. Now, orange is one of the only flavors of LaCroix to be named after a color rather than a food. Now, I know according to Wikipedia, there is also a food named orange, but the drink itself is actually named for the color. So let's crack it open and see how it looks in the glass. You know, it's really a lot less orange than I thought it might be. Uh, given the name, the can, all that, I might have to give this a zero in the appearance category as there really isn't one. Let's check the taste. Mm. Okay, the taste is mostly carbon dioxide, uh, but not in a bad way though. It definitely gives it a nice bite. There's also a nice smirk of the orange in there as well. Like a pirate dying of scurvy, let loose one of his precious oranges into the vast Atlantic Ocean, where the single fruit's flavor was then dissolved among the 82 billion billion gallons of highly salinated water. Overall, a very solid flavor. Let's move on to the second flavor of LaCroix we have with us here today, berry. Now, this one, oddly enough, is one of the only flavors of LaCroix to be named after a man. Named for Australian convicted murderer Michael Berry, this flavor's been around for quite a while despite some obvious controversy. Some say that the reddish purple hue of the can is actually designed in memoriam to his late wife and victim, Mary Berry. So let's pour a glass to her honor and see how it tastes. Well, it's quite similar to orange in its look, but let's check the taste. Mm, okay, the taste is actually fairly similar as well. Like something you might use to get blood out of carpet with, uh, pH well under seven. But you can definitely get a hint of the Rockhampton gallows where Michael Berry spoke his last words over 100 years ago in 1890. I should mention that a century later, DNA evidence exonerated Michael Berry of all wrongdoing, but I won't. Overall, a very interesting flavor, but I would give a razor's edge to orange at this point. Next in line, we have Key Lime, which I can only assume is lime with cocaine mixed into it. Can appearance is solid here. You can definitely see the lime and cocaine influence on the color, but as Jafar once told Aladdin just moments before his death by beheading, things aren't always what they seem. So let's crack this guy open and take a look. <laughs> All right. Well, that looks the exact same as the first two. Not really sure why we're bothering with the slow motion and the music and all that, but cheers to the attempt, I guess. Hmm. Okay, the flavors really collide well together. Um, kind of tastes like Bisquick up front, but then that lime flavor really comes in and mellows it all out. Easy for me to see why this is the most popular of the flavors, really blowing away its competition so far. 
Okay, for the final flavor, we have the Cacacola. Now, I could not find much information on the LaCroix website about this flavor, but I'm guessing it must be newer because there is no documentation on it, and also the can appearance is significantly different. Uh, so let's crack it open and see what we got. I'm gonna forgo the close-up on this one. I mean, it's been the same thing every time, so I... Son of a bitch, son of a bitch. Oh. What are the odds? I mean, it looks pretty much like diarrhea anyway, but it's still, it's better than nothing. Oh, we'll get it in post. We'll get it in post. So a drastically different appearance, but does the taste follow suit? Wow. <laughs> what? Okay, significantly better than any of the other flavors. I, uh, not really a coconut flavor at all, but honestly, who gives a shit? Jesus, yeah. Very good. I think the cocaine is actually in this one. I don't know why they bother with these other flavors. The National Broadcasting Company is fucking up. What a huge waste of money. If you're gonna make a flavor that is that much better than all of your other flavors, uh, just have one flavor. Yo, NBC, do you know how popular this could be if you focused on it? Well, let's take a final look at the scores here and see how everything shakes out, but I'm pretty sure we already know, uh, yes, Coca-Cola. Orders of magnitude better than any of the other flavors. I would definitely recommend going and picking some up. Now, the other flavors, they do exist as well. If you're into, I mean, you saw the scores. So hopefully this video helps to make a decision. Next time you're at that Super K looking for a LaCroix to try, that'll do it for me, everyone. As always, thank you for watching.